In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can build a Google Maps clone using Bubble. You can see here that I have a map loaded on my Bubble application. I can choose a starting place. I can choose a destination. And my map is going to tell me the best way of getting there, either via car. I can zoom in on specific parts of the navigation. I can choose a different method. Maybe I want to walk from A to B. It's going to take me 56 minutes. Or I can cycle. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that using Bubble. Throughout this tutorial, we're going to be using a service called Mapbox. You can sign up for a Mapbox account by clicking on the sign up button there. And once you've signed up, you're going to have access to this dashboard area. You can see here, I'm on the pay as you go plan. They have a really generous free tier, but you are going to need to put in your credit card details. You can see here that I haven't even gotten near the ceiling on my free usage as of now. Once you register for a Mapbox account, we're now going to need to get a way to get Mapbox to talk to our Bubble application. And the way we're going to do that is by installing this beautiful Maps Mapbox plugin. You can find that by clicking on the Add Plugins section of your Bubble Editor and searching for Beautiful Maps. It should pop up there. It is a paid plugin, so you can subscribe to it on a monthly basis or purchase a one-time license. We're going to need to add a token to our Mapbox plugin in order to get it to work. So what you can do is go back to your Mapbox dashboard, go into the Access Token section here and click on Create a Token. I'm going to call this token Google Maps clone and then really important we're going to need to restrict the token to a specific url so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my bubble editor i'm going to click on preview and i'm going to get the url here you can see my bubble application is blank at the moment but i'm really just concerned with getting this url here and pasting it in here so that my access token will only work on this specific url okay we're now going to create the token And you can see here now I have three tokens. I already had two other ones. I'm going to change these before this video goes out. But let's copy our Google Maps clone token. Let's go back to our bubble editor. Let's click on plugins and paste it into the token dev field. So we're now going to have Mapbox working on test mode. When you're deploying your application to live, you'll also need to paste the exact same token into this field here. If you go to the design tab, you should now have access to this Mapbox map element. So grab that and drop it on your canvas. And you can see here there's a number of defaults, but before we go into them, let's just see how it's looking at the moment. So you can see here we have this map. It seems to be centered above the UK Ireland area. There's not really too much on it. We can zoom in and zoom out, so not a bad start, but we definitely want to make a few changes. So this is much more like a Google map style experience. And the first thing we're going to set is the default longitude and latitude. These two coordinates here basically represent a specific location on the map. And what one really useful is this website called latlong.net. It lets you find the longitude and latitude of a specific location. So if, for example, I type in London, UK, it gives me back these latitude and longitude parameters, which are quite similar to what I have in here at the moment. I think it actually was maybe a UK location or somewhere around that area that I was putting in as a default. Uh, so what you can do is you can type in the location you want. Let's say I want Times Square, New York, USA. You could paste these values in. So we'll get, that was our latitude, paste that in there, and then also get our longitude. Paste that in there. And we should see now when we refresh our app that it's gonna be centered over Times Square. It's a bit far out, so I can zoom in further if I want. And what I can do is I can set the zoom instead of having it at four, let's try 11 as a zoom level. And you can see there, it's much more focused in on the Times Square area. So that's one thing we can do. But another thing we could do is we could use option sets. So I'm gonna create a new option set here called default location. I'll create that and then I'm gonna select new option, I'm going to say um, Paris, we'll create that. We'll then want to add a new attribute and we're going to give this the attribute name of address and we will make this a geographic address, create that. And then if we're going to modify attributes, what we could do is we could type in an address that's in Paris. Let's go for the Eiffel Tower address, copy that back to our database, paste that in there, 
And then what we can do is on our Mapbox map, instead of typing in the longitude and the latitude, what we can do is we can get an option. The option set can be Paris, and it can be its address, and its longitude. Bubble is smart enough to know the geographic addresses have a longitude and latitude, and we can get them automatically from that. And then I'm also going to do the same thing for the latitude. Go to Paris, go for its address, and go for its latitude. So let's refresh our application. And you can see here, we now have an overview of Paris. Okay, so now we want to add the navigation element to our map. And the way we're going to do that is if we go back to our map box element and we click on it, you'll see here there's an option to add directions. It's currently set to no, but if we set that to yes and refresh our bubble app, what we'll see is that we now have this section in the top left-hand side of our map and we can choose a starting place, we can choose a destination, and we can choose the method of getting from A to B. So let's go to London, and let's say we want to go from Westminster, Abbey, in London. And let's say we want to go to Trafalgar Square. Which I think I saw there. Okay. And you can see here straight away we're given a route that allows to get from A to B and we can even zoom in on the specific directions of how to do that. We can choose between traffic, between driving, walking, which you can see that it takes a bit longer, or cycling, which is actually quite a similar amount, but again, a different route for cyclists versus walking. So that's how you add that navigation functionality to your map. If we can zoom out, we can see it in its full. And of course, you can choose other locations as well. For example, let's say we wanted to go for Wimbledon. A bit further away. And you can see there taking an hour and five minutes by cycle, 37 minutes by car. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this take up the full page. So we'll set the min width, say 300, min height, say 500. And we'll also let it take up the full page. We can then refresh our bubble editor. And you can see here, it is taking up most of the page. I think this is actually just because I'm in debugging mode. So let's do that. Yeah, and you can see there now, Google Maps clone is taking up the full page. We can navigate from, let's say that location there, and we can even go to that location there. So you can pick points on the map as well itself and get your specific directions that way. Hope it has been useful. This plugin comes with a ton of other functionality. You can see it all here in the demo page, which is in the plugin description. But if you have any other questions, you can let me know in the comments.